Hello, and welcome to a basic Java tutorial on method overloading. And method overloading is a concept of using a method in a class that has a name that can be reused but perform different actions. So in this example, um, I'm going to use the concept of a calculator that would perform the function of adding two different numbers or multiple numbers um, and show you how you can use um, just a common example of adding two integers or you might add a float in an integer or you might add three integers or, or other various types um, but this will show you how you can use the same name for that method in your code and um, make it do very different things um, this is an important concept when you're examining code to understand where the uh, source is of what this code is actually doing because in overloading you may uh, get confused by looking at one section um, and assuming that the name you found is the right section of code that you'll be using but understand that it, um, even though they use the same name in a method you can they can do very different things I have written a basic class named calculator public class calculator with a main method that's empty right now and one method public int as the return type add and then it takes in two different parameters it takes in an integer that's one named one and an integer named two and it will return the value of one plus two so if I were to go into the main method and in our last example we dealt with creating an instance of the calculator in this case I'm going to go ahead and um, instantiate an object calculator and then I can use calc and I can say that I want to add and let's say that I want to add 2 plus 3 I can do that by passing in the arguments comma separated just as I did here and to simplify this we will print this out to the And result. We're going to set the value that it added to result and then we're going to print that out. Result is. So now what we would expect to happen is when calling this method we would pass in the 2 and the 3, would add those two together and return the result of 5 and we would print that out. I will go ahead and compile that. And the result is 5, just as we expected. One thing that I'd like to note in this example is how you overload methods. So even though this method here has the name add and returns integer, we can use that same name add to represent different types of inputs. So if I wanted to return an integer and I wanted to add 1, 2, and 3, I could do that. This is one way of overloading. And the re result of this would be 1 plus 2 plus 3. The overload here is that we're using the same name, but we have a different number of arguments that are in use. So the only way that I can utilize this is if I add a third value to my method, which I have now done. I go through and compile. And note that it has a different type of uh, an error because I added a semicolon here. So if we take that out, we should work OK. And now we have line 22 
we have a parenthesis expected because I did not put an int a type here. See, this is how the compiler can help you. Print that out, and now the result is not 4 plus 3 plus 2 does equal 9. Another way that we can overload a method, let's suppose we wanted to add a floating point value. 1 to a uh, another floating point, or we could say another integer. So let's say int 2. So let's suppose that we wanted to add a float to an int. And in this case, we will want to change, we want to make sure that our result can handle that. Um, we're going to make sure that we want the result as an integer, so we're going to cast it to an integer. And inside here, we will say 1 plus 2 in order to get that done. Now, if I pass in 2 and 3, let's go ahead and print out a line here to indicate which version it's using. Int plus int. And that will be in that case. And now the other two argument case we will say using float plus int. And we'll print that out. Save that. And now compile and run. So here we're using int plus int, as you can see in the printout there, because I passed in a 2 and a 3. Now let's say I pass in a value of 2.0f which is, in Java, this is a way to indicate a floating point value. Not only did I put the dot zero on there, I also put an F, because if I don't put the F, it defaults to using a double type. And in this case, we don't want to use a double type, so we'll use the literal floating point value. I'll compile that, and then run it, and now it used the version that has float plus int, because it recognizes the different types of arguments that I use. So even though there are two parameters that are passed in to this value, to this method, they both return integer. The compiler, and the uh, runtime interpreter, can understand the different types that we passed in and recognize which version to use. So note this as a way of making your programs do exactly what you want. Um, add is a very simple mechanism here, and you wouldn't want to say, you wouldn't want to have to specify add float to int. You would just want to be able to say add if you were dealing with different types of values. So this is a uh, method overloading, is a way of doing that in a uniform fashion, um, but taking in different types of inputs to get that job done. So in this episode, you learned about two different ways of overloading a method. A one to change the argument types within a method from integer to float, but you could change it from one type to any other type. Um, and then also changing the number of the arguments that were passed in to a method. Um, but ultimately, it has the same name. And in this case, we're using this calculator concept, so they're doing the same thing, but you may want to vary their um, behavior inside to take care of those specific types of values that are passed in. Um, so you will also um, be tested on this. Uh, we'll look up some questions on the website under Java Method Overloading. And then there's also an assignment that will uh, test your knowledge of this and which uh, types of methods are overloaded and how you can perform uh, this overloading, the different ways of using different types or using different numbers of uh, the arguments.